This may be an unpopular opinion, but embarking on a vegan journey is like signing up for a lifetime membership in the I'm Not in a Cult, I Swear Club. Who knew that choosing to eat plants would make you the subject of endless dating woes? It's almost as if people hear vegan and think you're about to hand them a flyer for the latest meeting of the Kale Appreciation Society. And let's not even get started on the assumption that you're somehow a political extremist. Newsflash. Not every vegan is out here hugging trees and voting for the first person who promises free tofu for all. Dating as a vegan is like trying to find someone who appreciates your love for quinoa and your aversion to animal products. It's a bit like searching for a needle in a haystack, except the needle is organic and gluten-free. You'd think people would be lining up to date someone who's mastered the art of reading ingredient labels. But no, it's all, oh, you're one of those people. Yes, I'm one of those people who can make a mean lentil stew and doesn't need bacon to have a good time. Shocking, I know. But wait, there's more. The real fun begins when you're at a restaurant and have to explain that no, you don't want the steak salad without the steak. It's like navigating a culinary minefield while your date looks on in horror, wondering if you're about to pull out a protest sign at any moment. And let's not forget the endless questions about protein. Yes, I get enough protein. No, I don't miss cheese. And yes, I do know how delicious bacon is. So if you're on this vegan journey, brace yourself for a wild ride of misunderstandings and awkward first dates. But hey, at least you'll always have your avocado toast to keep you company.